Hi everyone, Combook Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Transformers Timelines issue number 4. Now, as you know, I have been trying to review the Transformers Timeline series, which were comics that were done as promotional material for botcom conventions, from Shatterglass, Dawn of Futures Past, also the Stunicon job, so I managed to get Wings of Honor off eBay from a comic book store close by to where I live, and Wings of Honor is maybe another alternative take on the G1 continuity, as well as exploring the origins a bit differently from the Autobots and Decepticons. And here it's meant to tell how Cup was on a one-man mission to rescue a certain cargo. And the cover has mainly the past and present, sort of showing what was then and what was now. We also see how in the story, the Autobot ship being attacked by Seekers, with Cyclonus saying, destroy their weapons and slaughter who are bored. Attack their defenses, sweeps. Leave no survivors. We obey! And of course, we see how Grimlock and that want to hear, hear Cup's war story, but we see how Hot Rod tries to get them that there are more important things, and Cup kind of realising they need to, to hide cover, which they do, and we kind of see how Grimlock says, Time for the story now! Not yet, big guy. We got to get the ship repaired in case those deceptive creeps had find us. And we see how Grimlock gets a little annoyed, but Hot Rod managing to calm them down. And Cup saying, Right. This isn't just any story, lads. This is the tale of the Battle of Beta 9, the legend of a team of Autobots who were the first to earn the famous Wings of Honor. And we see how many years ago, back in the past, Cup was with his, with his team, which was Fisk, Landshark, and Thunderclash. And we see how Cup was, was, was fresh off the assembly line and wanting to get his piece of the action. We see how they get word from Ultra Madness, who was much younger, pouring about the new Decepticon's new leader, and then attacking a vessel that crash landed on Better 9, which of course carried some important cargo, which they need a team to kind of recover it. And they mainly sign up for the mission. Of course, a Decepticon ship attacks them, and we see Funnaclass saying, What the? Oily hell was that? No idea. It came out of nowhere. This junket is going down. We're gonna with it. And of course, they mainly get their seatbelts ready, and of course, crash onto better nine. And of course, they get out in that and try to kind of recover the lost cargo. And we see how Thunder Class tries to get Landshark to kind of see reason. And that they're a team of heroes that need to do this important mission. And of course, decide to kind of find out where it is. And wonder why the Cons haven't attacked yet, which they do. And Kurt mainly informing to his potential death. And turns out, some Seekers show up. One of which is meant to be Leo Zack saying, Huh, power reaches through attack. We lost the kid. And of course, they decide to find cover to try and get this, get the Seekers out of, out of the way. We see how Cup comes to, which he ends up dealing with Bonsai Tron, as well as Hellbat. And of course, uses his mind pa powers to say, Hypnosis, sleep, hibernation. Hypnosis, sleep, hibernation. And of course, puts him in a trance that he manages to kind of quickly get out of, and Bonsai Tron saying, No, Autobot. You die at scrap after him! And of course, we see how Leo Sack's other Seekers are looking for... for Thunder Clash and the others, so they decide to kind of create a diversion. And of course, we kind of see how Leo Zack Zack is told by one of the other Seekers that he's going to go after the, the the cargo. And of course, we see how Cup goes into the ship to find where it is. And of course, finds the cargo. 
which he knows he can't open in case of anything happens. And of course, we kind of see how Fisk kind of knows a plan to deal with Leozak and his other Seeker friends. And of course, him saying, Hey Decepticons, you want to fight me? <laughs> now I have you! Finally, you're dead on a bot! You boys call these missile launchers? These, now these are missile launchers. And of course, we kind of see how Cup tries to get out from the explosion. And we see how Bunsai try and Hellbat try to kind of kill him. But we kind of see how Thunder Clash manages to rescue Cup. And of course, they have an idea. Which of course, just as Frisk is about to be killed by Leosak, ends up getting punched by Landshark. And of course, we see how Bonsai Tron is duped into giving a special gift, which of course turns out to be a detonator, which kind of blows them up. But of course, is badly injured, and him saying basically that he's under arrest. And after telling the story, they basically see that the Seekers are now, I mean, the Sweeps are now trying to attack the ship. But of course, just as Cyclonus like and Scourge get in, they see that the Donobots aren't happy with their story being interrupted and go at them full force. And basically, after duping Scourge into taking a weapon, ends up getting blown up, but badly injured. And after telling the story, a much younger Ultramanus is pleased with their efforts, and as and as a sort of reward, then now promoted to the Elite God, showing that these team were ready for action. And at the end of the story, we see how Alpha Tron opens the cargo, revealing the matrix of leadership that Optimus will eventually take. And yeah, this is the story. So I think Wings of Honor is a pretty good idea. I think if the Timeline series got made into animated episodes, I could definitely see the actor who played Freddy from iCarly for a much younger cup given that same performance, and I think the actor who played Uncle Ben in The Amazing Spider-Man and the real Seymour Skinners for Thunderclash, I think would be an idea for a potential series, so I think it still deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.